Good morning Year 4, here's your starter for today, it's Monday the 16th of November. Pause the screen, have a go on a piece of paper. When you're ready, hit play and we'll check your answers. Here are your answers for Monday's starter. Remember, give yourself a tick if you got it and a dot if not. How many did you get right today? We're starting out today with our nine times tables on timestables.co.uk. They've got a five step plan to help us learn and practice our nine times tables, ready for us to try some questions later on. Step one is to read the times table out loud and repeat it as many times as we need to. Let's say this one together. One times nine is nine. Two times nine is 18. Three times nine is 27. Four times nine is 36. 5 times 9 is 45, 6 times 9 is 54, 7 times 9 is 63, 8 times 9 is 72, 9 times 9 is 81, 10 times 9 is 90, 11 times 9 is 99, 12 times 9 is 108. I would say those out loud quite a few times. I'd maybe ask a friend, a sibling, a parent to come and help me with that as well to make sure I'm saying them correctly in the right order. Once I've done that, I'm going to scroll down here and I have to type out my nine times tables in order, in sequence. I'm going to fill this in really quickly. When I'm happy with my answers, I can click the button. Oh, nearly made a mistake there. I can click the check button to see if I'm correct. So let's type these in. There we are, and I'll hit check. Let's see if I'm correct. Yep, fantastic, full marks. If I've made any mistakes or if I want to have another practice, I can click practice again to do that. On the next step, we've got to drag the answer to the correct question. So 108, which times table fact gives us 108? We know it's not one times nine, it's 12 times nine. And once I've dragged in all of my answers, I'm going to put these in at random just to see what will happen. definitely not how we should do it. But once I think I've got them right, I can click check and I can see actually I've got them all wrong apart from the first one. So I'll click practice again and have another go. I can have as many goes as I need or I want to. On step three, I've got my times tables again, but this time they've been shuffled. I need to make sure I know them out of order. I'm having to say them out loud in my head to remind myself I might have to count up in my nines each time. And again, when I'm finished, I click check. On number four, we've got multiple choice. We're going to have 15 questions to answer and we need to click the correct one. It's a little bit like hit the button. So two times nine is 18. I move on. Six times nine. Ooh, I think that's 42. Ah, oh, incorrect. 10 times nine is 90 and so on. And I'll keep doing that until I've got all 15 questions. And finally, I have to get all of these questions, all 24 of them correct, to earn my diploma to have finished this. I've got three minutes to fill these in. When I've typed out my answer, I click that to move on to the next one. Have a go yourselves. Remember, you can go back and practice as many times as you need to before you move on to your questions today. Now we're going to look at some questions similar to the ones you'll be solving today. In my first question, I have 36 strawberries and I need to put them into groups of nine. If I know my nine times tables, I already know how many groups of nine go into 36, but we're going to work it out anyway, just to prove that it will be the same. So I'm going to start with my first group of nine down here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we are. My next group of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Another group of nine now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And my last group of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
I can see now that I have got four groups of nine. There's one group of nine, two groups of nine, three groups of nine, four groups of nine. So I know that 36 shared out into groups of nine will give me four groups. Now I've got the same 36 strawberries as before, but I need to put them into nine groups. Okay, so I'm going to start out, here's one group, two group, three groups, four groups, five groups, six groups, seven groups, ooh, we'll do eight groups, nine groups, and I'm going to line the rest of my strawberries up so they make one of these groups here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I've split my strawberries into nine groups and I can see in each group there are four strawberries. That's really similar to here where there were groups of nine and there were four groups. So I could have four groups of nine or nine groups of four. And that's because we know that nine times four equals 36. And because of that, we know with our law of commutativity that four times nine equals 36 as well. Now my next question is one that you're going to face today. I've got some cubes here and you might not remember looking at cubes last year in year three. It would have been during lockdown, but a cube has got six faces. We can only see three at the front, but if we were to count all the faces we can't see, and you can see I've got a cube net here, there are six of them. So first I need to know how many cubes are there. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five cubes. Now I need to know how many faces on each cube. Well, I've just looked at that and I know there are six faces on a cube. How many faces are there altogether? Well, I've got six faces here, two lots of six faces, three lots of six faces, four lots of six faces, five lots of six faces. I need to know what five times six is going to be. Well, five times six, I know my six times tables is going to be 30. Today, you're going to have a question very similar to this, but using the nine times tables instead. Remember when you get to it that there are six faces on a cube. My last question is a very tricky one, and it's like the this is the last question you're going to face today. In our Teams meeting on Friday, lots of you said that the last question was often the trickiest for you, so I wanted to show you an example of how to work it out here. So in this question, in, we've got a number puzzle. There are two hearts and a square. And the number puzzle tells us that a heart times a heart times a square will give us the answer 81. It's asked me to find three different values for this heart and for this square. So that's three different numbers these hearts and squares could stand for because they could stand for any number. For example, they could stand for two for the hearts and the square could stand for three. And if that were the case, I would do two times two, which is four, times three, four times three is 12, but I can see that's not my answer. So I know that they can't be the values here today. I've already started to work this question out by thinking about what numbers do times together to make 81. And straight away, I thought of 81 times one. But how will this fit here? I can't do 81 times 81 times one, but I could do one times one, because one times one is one times 81 and that would give me the answer 81. So the value of my heart could be 1 and the value of my square could be 81. The next number I thought of was 9 times 9 equals 81. Now I can't fit 9 times 9 on here because they can't all be 9 but I could do 9 times 9 and my square could be worth 1. 9 times 9 is 81 and 81 times 1 is 81 as well. So my heart could be worth 9 and my square could be worth 1. There is another value that these shapes could take. 
I've started to work it out up here. I wonder if you can spot the link when it comes to solving this on your question. If you're feeling stuck, remember you can ask for help in the Ask the Teachers channel.